Restyle Kitchen and Bath has been contacted about coming to speak to this homeowner to remodel their kitchen. I think this house uh, is probably built in the 60s. It's located in Meyerland. And so when we go in and look at the kitchen, that's something that we need to take into consideration, the style of the home. Okay, Ken, tell me something about your kitchen and what it is that you want to do. Well, I'm, I'm renting the house. And uh, thankfully, my landlord has agreed that my kitchen is in such um, kind of bad shape that um, we're going to be able to redo the uh, kitchen to some degree, and I want to find out from you what I might be able to do. Okay. Do you have any particular things that are bothering you and any ideas of what you might want it to look like? I do, and if you don't mind, I wrote them down because I know mm -hmm. I'd forget them. So, Go right ahead. Let's um, start. I'm going to start from the bottom and work my way up. So at this point, we presently have very acceptable flooring, and I've got a countertop that's fine, and the appliances are all set and ready to go. So if I can find something that doesn't affect all that, that's what I want to do. And the first thing I want to start with is what about all the toe kicks? They've been painted as well. Can they be replaced? Okay. If we can redo your kitchen and leave the floor in place, the countertop in place, the backsplash in place, all your appliances, your sink, and your built-in oven. So you will not need a plumber or an electrician. So we can leave everything intact. And we come in and cover the tokix, that space on the bottom between the cabinets and the floor, and we cover that with quarter-inch plywood. We cover the whole, f all the fronts, all the space when you take the doors off, all the front of the cabinet, we cover it all with a wood veneer that matches the doors. Oh, nice. Um, the doors are all brought in pre-finished, so there's no mess in here. The only mess that's going to happen in your kitchen is we have to sand the cabinets, fronts. In fact, I forgot to ask you, uh, Will I have to take all the stuff out of my cabinets to have the cabinets redone? Do you think that's a good idea? It's Yes. You need to take everything out because for two reasons. One, we can't be responsible for bumping into what could be in there. And the second thing is they will be covered with dust, so you might as well take them out now. Got it. That's a good idea. And then what about all my um, the, the door hardware? We can reuse your door hardware depending upon the style you choose, but more than likely you're going to want to pick some new hardware. And we will install it for you if you will go someplace and pick it out. Okay, perfect. Um, what about the backs of the cabinets, Al? You're telling me that those will also be recovered? The back of the like, cabinet? Like here, this peninsula, um, this peninsula countertop out here, which is really handy for the kitchen, has this wood on the back, etc. Will that all be covered? That will all match the doors. The sides of the cabinets, the end of that peninsula will all match. All of this will match. That will match. And because this is so high, we will cover this also. So when you look up here, you're not going to see old white paint. Oh, that's nice. And speaking of paint, um, my guess is that this place has been painted about 10 times. Uh, what would you recommend as far as a finish? Do I go with a paint again, or would you suggest that I go with a wood finish? Well, I think I would go with a wood finish. It's going to last longer, it's more resilient, and it doesn't show much dirt. Okay. So it doesn't require the maintenance. It, the painted finish will hold up. It's not like this painted finish. It's very smooth, but I think if a, for a rental property, I would go with something that shows less fingerprints. Okay, sounds good. So let's, since we're talking about the finish, let's look at some options of door styles and some options of finish. Okay. We have quite a number of doors, but this house is fairly simple, so I think you'd probably want to go with a fairly simple door style. Now this one is a recessed panel. It has That's a little nice. bit of detail around the edge. And a little detail here, and a flat panel or a recessed panel. And these that, are these are all. That's wood. Good, good wood. That's all wood. This is a plywood insert in the middle, and this is all three quarter inch maple solid stock on the edge. Okay. I like that one. And now this one is 
This could also work, but I think it might be a little too contemporary. It has a square edge and a square insert. Otherwise, it's constructed exactly the same way. So we've got those two options. And we have this one, which is very pretty, but I don't think it's appropriate for your house. It's a little bit too fancy, I think, for the style of the I, house. I think you're right. But it's, it's a pretty door. It's cherry, and it's mitered. And it has a lot of detail on it. But I think we'll put that to the side. And we could do this style. This is a raised panel door. And this has a three quarter inch solid insert. But again, I think it's too elaborate for the house. So right. I think we should go back to the first two. So between this one and this one? Yeah, between the, this one. And this one, I would choose this because I think it, this edge detail is going to be a little easier to work with for years to come. And this house may be rented for a long time. And this, um, and this finish, you think? I think so. Let's, we'll hold up a couple of finishes and you can look at them and tell me what you think. All right, that sounds good. So Mary, if you would, tell me about the options for my cabinet doors because I certainly don't understand. All right. We decided that this style would work best in this kitchen because it's simple, but it still has a little bit of detail, so it's not going to be contemporary. Okay. And I think it's the most flexible. I also think that this is possibly the best color choice. It works with the backsplash. It works with the countertop. And it also works with your floor but it is not dark, so it's not going to make the room small. However, if, if that does not work for you, we can use that finish, but you still use the same door, and this could work. This still works with your countertop, it still works with your backsplash, and it still works with your floor. The only reason I would consider not using this is I think it's going to make the room too dark and it's going to make it small. I agree. It's currently probably the most popular finish, but I don't think it's going to be a good answer for you. Okay. Now we have another option. We've done about uh, maybe 50 finishes. You could do oak, maple, cherry, um, hickory. Oh, we can do all kinds of things, but um, I think we need to stick with maple because it's the most affordable. So we could still use this red kind of finish because this has garnets in it and so this would pick this up. So we could use this with the floor and it would also work with the backsplash. Again, I think it's too dark and I think it'll make the room kind of closed in. And I think it's a little bit too formal looking. I agree. Well, let's grab the one that we think is number one. And let's put one up next to the other. I agree. I think the kitchen's too too dark to begin with, so those two are going to probably. Uh, so I think this will it. work out because it's light, and it has a. It, this is an easy finish to maintain. I like that idea. So now you had some other questions about what we were going to do to your kitchen. So we're going to take all these doors off, and when we do that, we're going to cover all the fronts. Of the these cabinets. Here, okay. Yeah, all these are going to be gone. All the hinges, all these old painted hinges will be gone. And we'll be using the hinges that are inside the cabinet door? We're going to be using concealed European hinges. Okay, good. And we're not going to have this problem with doors not lining up here. And they're going to be staying closed. Um, we're also going to cover, we'll cover the whole front. If you would like a little bit of molding up there, we can do a little bit. Yeah. Have, I think, we don't have a lot of room. I think it would finish this out nicely. Yeah, we have. We don't have much room. We can't put very big piece, but we can put just a little bit of detail. Now the other thing is, you don't have. This is a very big space here under the cooktop, and for some reason you have no drawer here, and you have no drawer here. And so, if you would like to have some additional storage, oh, that'd be fantastic, especially with this kind of a cooktop. There's, there's space under here. There is some space under there. We can put a drawer here okay. that will line up with this door. 
and we can put a drawer under here. Now, the one thing that you can't see, but you can feel, is the cooktop actually drops down about that far. So it would be a shallow drawer. So we can make a shallow drawer, but it will still hold a lot of things. You can still put utensils in it. And it will. we can run it all the way in the back because it's an electric cooktop, not gas. All right, my next question. Um, I've got these drawers, and the fronts are fine, but there are no drawer glides. And so to pull this thing open, it's just wood on wood, and it becomes really difficult. Um, and I don't want you to see inside that drawer. Uh, <laughs> So we'll be able to, what, what are my options as it relates to the drawers themselves? Okay, we, whenever we do a restyle the kitchen, we will replace the drawers. And these drawers are all going to be replaced with maple dovetail drawers. They're all going to have full extension drawer slides, which means when you pull the drawer out, you can see what's behind it. Oh, that'd be fantastic. Your problem is that you can't get it out at all. But even if you could, if you pulled it all the way out, it would fall on the floor. That's right. So we have a drawer slide that will let you pull it all the way out, and you will see a lot of space. Um, and then it will have a new front on it. And how long will all this process take from start to finish once the, well, I guess once we've made those decisions, you now would have to order, measure, order? Well, we have to come, we'll have to come in and measure every single opening. So all of the, every single opening has to be measured because they're all unique to this kitchen. Once we measure the doors, then we measure for the drawer fronts, we measure for the drawer boxes, and then we order all the paneling and molding, and it's all pre-finished. So it'll take about five weeks to get to our warehouse, and then once we come out here to do the job, we'll probably be in your kitchen about a day. Oh, that's fantastic. So we're in and out very quickly, and when we leave, everything will be broom clean, wiped, the cabinets will all be wiped out on the inside, and you will be ready to put your dishes back inside. Well, sounds good. I look forward to our, our getting started. Let's go with this door sample, and I like that uh, style very much. Okay, now is there any, so we're going to go with this maple with the recessed panel, and this is a fawn finish. Fawn finish, okay. Is there any, uh, or do you have any other questions like how we work with your appliances, whether you need a plumber, electrician, what has to happen? Well, I'm presuming, correct me if I'm wrong, um, that you're not going to touch my countertops and my appliances are all fine as they are? We're not going to move any of your appliances. We're, we do not have to disconnect the sink. We don't have to have a plumber. And to work with the built-in oven over here, we don't have to take it out. What we're going to do is to pull it forward, maybe an inch, cover it with plastic to keep the dust out of it, and then we'll work around it, and then we'll push it back in. So it oh, doesn't okay. have to be disconnected. Got it. And I think that's going to look nice. So that'll, it'll look as though it were installed after we redid the kitchen. Yes, absolutely. Okay. So everything is everything is going to look brand new. The only reason, the only way you're going to be able to tell that this kitchen hasn't been totally remodeled is when you open the doors. The inside is going to look exactly like it does now. Right, but there's no reason to redo the inside of the cabinets. No. The boxes are just fine They're to fine. me. No, there's no reason to do that. But that's the only way you're going to be able to tell. And if I want to, I could paint those inside, yeah. but I'm not going to. Yeah, you could if you wanted to. No, yeah, I'm not. All right, that sounds fantastic. All right, thank you very much. And thank you, Mary. Appreciate it. Appreciate it.